I'm here with Simon Reeve, uh, intrepid BBC author uh, and presenter, who has just completed his new series, Tropic of Capricorn, and he's going to tell us about his travel CV. So, Simon, first question. Mountain, desert, ocean or jungle, which Ooh. are you? Where are you happiest? I think mountains. Um, I think... Uh, I personally find when I'm in mountains, when, I'm, when I've reached the top, of a summit, there's something just life enhancing about being up a mountain. Any favourite mountains? Um, I remember oh, there was one around Glencoe, climbing up there was a particularly memorable occasion, just reaching the top and the feeling you get, there's something about reaching a summit that I think touches you very deep inside. Do what you want me to look at you or at the camera? Camera. Right, okay, do you want me to do it again? Or? No, that's fine. Okay, look at the camera. Uh, Gosh, I don't, know, I don't think we've ever, ever mined the depths of our production values quite like that. Oh uh, yeah, look at the camera. Well, I'm behind the camera, so that's not here. Okay. Um, what was your first great travel experience? Um, probably going on holiday to the continent with my family. Not probably, definitely, actually. We didn't really fly when I was, we didn't fly at all, in fact, when I was a kid, but we did go uh, over the ferry over to um, France, and we went to France, Switzerland, and Italy, and stayed on the campsite. Um, and then on the way back, we, uh, one day we had breakfast in Italy, lunch in Switzerland and dinner in France and I thought that was very cool. Fantastic. Uh, what has been your favourite journey? You've been on a few goodies. Favourite journey? Um, favourite journey? I think probably, uh, that's a hard one, but um, I, had a, I was lucky enough to, we had a very memorable journey um, through the Caucasus um, a couple of years ago for a, for a TV series. Um, which is it's an amazing part of the world, uh, ancient part of the world, and we travelled across great mountains, and we just about made it through um, snowdrifts, pushing the car over the mountains, and luckily we made it. Maybe I wouldn't be thinking it was good if we'd got stuck. Terrific. Uh, where and this is always the hardest one. Where are your top five places worldwide? Top five places worldwide. Um, uh, I'd start in the UK, Studland, Studland Bay in Dorset is, um, is very special for me. I used to go there um, a couple of times a year when I, was, uh, when I was a kid, that was our holiday. Um, special places, a Somaliland I would say in the Horn of Africa, a very special place for me, very uh, amazing people and a, an amazing little unrecognised country. Um, where else? Uh, Madagascar, I've just been through Madagascar um, travelling along the Tropic of Capricorn. Um, is an incredible island, uh, devastated now by logging really, but still um, amazing beauty. Borneo, um, similar reasons actually, um, extraordinary beauty there and uh, wonderful orangutans. Um, and finally where else? Transnistria, I think. Transnistria, which is a, a, an unrecognised country um, between Moldova and Ukraine. And it's not particularly beautiful, but it is a slice of the old Soviet Union and fascinating as a result. That's terrific. Now, which three items do you always pack? Uh, well, seeing as I nearly, f I actually managed to forget my passport at the start of our Capricorn journey and I had to turn back, go home and get it. Um, I'm not great at remembering anything, but certainly laptop, need it with me. Um, flapjacks, because I like a bit of a snack now and again. Um, and uh, what else do I take? Um, I generally steal pillows from planes because I stay in places where bedding isn't great, so I have to improvise. Airlines, watch out. Yes. Uh, okay, now you've got a pretty good collection of passport stamps uh, from your various journeys, but which one are you the most proud of? Ooh, passport stamps. Can I trump that by saying passport? It's a bit, it's a bit, bit silly really, but I, I bought a... Um, I, I bought a, uh, a Somali diplomatic passport in my own name, um, an official one from a man called Mr. Big Beard in <laughs> the market in Mogadishu. Um, uh, so that, that would be, that's for passport and stamp, maybe Transnistria actually, because nobody's ever heard of it. Fantastic, and we will have to upgrade our question to which passport are you proud of? <laughs> International drug runners apply now. Um, okay, and which passport stamp would you most like to have? Where haven't you been that you would really like to? Uh, getting your passport. Oh, there's loads of places. Um, I'd love to go to India. I've never been to India. Um, and it feels there's something missing almost in my life as a result. So 
I think India. Okay. Um, and finally, where or what is your guilty travel pleasure? Guilty travel pleasure. I've already said I nick pillows from planes, which I probably shouldn't have said, but um, uh, it, uh, foreign TV. I love foreign TV. Uh, and I love turning up somewhere strange and flicking through 60 channels in languages I really don't understand. And I, I, I mean, I, I've seen some incredible things on foreign TV. I don't know why we're not, we don't have a, a, a sort of program broadcast, a, a channel broadcasting them over here. But in, the, in the Saudi Arabia, I saw this sort of, it's a knockout on Saudi TV with, it's very curious, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Simon Reeve, thank you very much. Thank you.